Now that the Hyper-V servers have been built, and before Woodgrove Bank proceeds any further, they would like to implement a management solution for the virtual environment. System Center Virtual Machine Manager 2008R2, or VMM, provides a management solution for today's virtualized data center affording centralized management of the IT infrastructure, increased server utilization capability, and dynamic resource optimization across multiple virtualization and physical platforms. VMM allows you to maximize resources through techniques like intelligent placement and centralized resource management. It improves agility with dynamic resource optimization using techniques like live migration and quick storage migration. VMM also leverages existing competencies through a familiar interface and PowerShell integration. Woodgrove Bank has already installed Virtual Machine Manager and will now perform some basic configuration. Virtual Machine Manager 2008R2 can be downloaded from the Virtual Machine Manager page on the Microsoft System Center website. VMM can manage multiple host servers. The host servers in Woodgrove Bank's environment are clustered and can be added at the same time. When the first host of a cluster or the cluster itself is added, VMM will add all of the hosts in that cluster. The Add Hosts wizard in the VMM Administrator console is used to add host servers. The wizard can search the Woodgrove domain for computers to add as hosts, or you can type in the name of the hosts that you want to add. The first host in the cluster will be added now. The default host group, All Hosts, which is the parent host group of all hosts and host groups, will be used for this host server. A default path for storing virtual machines deployed on the hosts could be specified here. The last step is to start the add host process and wait for the job to complete. VMM can be used to easily migrate the virtual machines between clustered hosts without affecting the connected users. This allows more flexibility for administrators undertaking host maintenance or upgrades as the running virtual workloads can be moved from host to host without interruption to end users. Each clustered host should now be available in Virtual Machine Manager. For each view in the console, there is a list of actions that can be performed in the Actions pane. There is a set of Virtual Machine Manager actions that are available in every view, and a set of actions that are specific to the objects in that view. These different tasks can perform actions such as creating a virtual machine, move or remove a host, backup virtual machine manager, or cancel or restart a job among others. The placement settings in the administration view are used to configure metrics that determine how virtual machine hosts are rated during virtual machine placement. When you deploy or migrate a virtual machine, you can customize these ratings to address the unique requirements for that virtual machine. When Woodgrove Bank deploys or migrates a virtual machine, each available host is assigned a rating of 0 through 5 to indicate the host's suitability for hosting that virtual machine. The host rating is based on the virtual machine's hardware and software requirements and anticipated resource usage. Woodgrove Bank values CPU usage as very important. Woodgrove Bank values network utilization as somewhat important. The memory-free and disk I.O. settings are left at the default. The Virtual Machine Manager library is a catalog that gives access to file-based resources such as sysprep scripts, ISO images, and virtual hard disks that are stored on library servers and to virtual machine templates, guest operating system profiles, and hardware profiles that reside in the VMM database. Woodgrove Bank wants to create a hardware profile to use when creating new virtual machines. A hardware profile is a collection of hardware settings that can be imported into a new virtual machine or a new virtual machine template. By using hardware profiles, Woodgrove Bank can ensure consistent hardware settings in virtual machines. In addition to memory and CPU configurations, a hardware profile can specify virtual network adapters, DVDs, and floppy disk drives. This hardware profile will be used for file servers.
The startup order of devices to start up the operating system can be specified. The default startup order will be used for this profile. The CPU settings do not specify actual hardware. However, Virtual Machine Manager uses these settings to calculate host ratings and to set CPU resource allocation. A single dual-core CPU will be specified for this profile. To improve compatibility between hosts with different processor versions and virtual machines running older operating systems, Woodgrove Bank can configure options that limit the processor functionality of a virtual machine. The Allow Migration to a Virtual Machine Host with a Different Processor property will be selected to allow a virtual machine to run on a host that has a different processor version than the host on which the virtual machine was created. This setting allows for greater flexibility in live or saved state migrations. However, it reduces the functionality of the virtual machine's processor. So you should only use this when necessary, such as to facilitate live migration between clustered hosts that have different processor versions. The amount of memory to allocate on a host for a new virtual machine can be specified. 1024 megabytes will be specified for the file server profile. Woodgrove Bank will not configure a virtual floppy drive for their file servers. A virtual DVD or CD drive can be added to an IDE bus. By default, all hardware profiles include a built-in IDE drive. With Virtual Machine Manager, you can hot add virtual machine storage. With this capability, administrators can quickly and efficiently respond to changing storage requirements of virtual machines. This ability to hot add additional storage eliminates the previous need to take the host down to upgrade storage, thus increasing business continuity for end users and reducing complexity for administrators. One or more virtual network adapters can be configured for a virtual machine. This setting is used by placement to determine equivalence between virtual networks across different hosts. Virtual networks determine their location from the host network adapter associated with them. Woodgrove Bank can link multiple host network adapters to multiple virtual networks and have one address set as the location. This allows a virtual machine to move and retain the correct connectivity. Virtual Machine Manager supports two new networking services, Virtual Machine Q or VMQ, and TCP Chimney, built into Windows Server 2008 R2. Key benefits to both of these technologies are more efficient processing of network traffic through the creation of virtual network queues in the former and offloading of TCP IP workloads to a physical NIC in the latter, and thus freeing up CPU cycles on the host machine. Woodgrove can configure how CPU resources are allocated and whether the virtual machine is highly available. When CPU usage on a host is high, virtual machines with higher priority are allocated CPU resources before virtual machines with lower priority. Making a virtual machine highly available will allow Woodgrove Bank to run the virtual machine on clustered Hyper-V hosts. Now this hardware profile can be used when creating virtual machines to help ensure consistent hardware settings. Most of the views in Virtual Machine Manager have an overview node, which displays a graphical summary of the Virtual Machine Manager environment. The current status for hosts, virtual machines, recent jobs, and library resources are displayed. This gives administrators at Woodgrove Bank an at-a-glance status of the virtual environment. If something on this page requires further investigation, the administrator can click a particular status and the console goes to the view that gives the additional information related to that status. Virtual Machine Manager also provides a self-service web portal from which authorized users can provision new virtual machines without directly involving IT staff. This capability especially targets software test and development teams, which often set up temporary virtual machines to try out new software. With Virtual Machine Manager, IT administrators retain control over access to resources. System Center Virtual Machine Manager 2008 R2 will help Woodgrove Bank better manage their new virtualization environment. Combined with the other System Center products, Woodgrove Bank will be able to drive costs out of their organization while being able to rapidly respond to their changing business requirements. Now that Virtual Machine Manager has been installed and configured, Woodgrove Bank will move on and configure live migration.